Uh, I can understand why you're, you're looking forward to this. I don't think I've ever had a death battle really where there's been a character I loved and another one that I loved and I've had a hard time choosing. Like, the closest I'd say it was Obi-Wan versus Kakashi, but with Obi-Wan it was kind of... He's died before, like, twice, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, I always thought, could you imagine the reaction if Kakashi kills Obi-Wan, but then Obi-Wan comes back as a Force ghost and kills Kakashi and wins? To be fair, he Jedi can actually use their Force ghosts. Luke's done it in Legends, and then uh, Force Unleashed 2... No, even in the movies, we see the Force Ghosts can grip, like, physical objects and use their Force powers. So, yeah, really, realistically, even if Kakashi did land a fatal blow, Obi-Wan is just like, oh no. Anyway, uh, uh, is that all? Shall we move on to the final part? Yeah. Right then, so, our most wanted matchups for... Not only next season, but just in total. And I'll save mine for last, because it might shock a few people. So, uh, we'll let Sean go first. My most wanted matchup, huh? Yes. Okay. I've said this before to Mate and Bill. I believe I said this one to Bill, but I think my most wanted matchup, if it happens this season, great. If not, I'm still holding out for it, is Madara versus Aizen. And the only reason I want that is, can I get another Bleach character, god dang it? <laughs> that, that's fair. Fair enough. And plus, the last Bleach character that was in Death Battle was Ichigo, and that was amazing, so I think oh, that, that that so having, so Aizen, yeah, having Aizen would be just as amazing. Yeah, that's fair. Tag mates it. That's all I really gotta say. Oh, okay. I thought you, I thought you wanted to go in more <laughs> detail there. Well... If you really want me to, um, besides the whole, yeah, it's another Bleach character thing, I know a lot of people have wanted this one for a long time, and I think it makes sense, even though I feel like Aizen does lose, which kind of does make me sad. But it would still be a pretty cool matchup to see. And plus, this whole Moonfeet thing can be like brought up again anyway, where people just poke fun at that. Oh yeah, that'd absolutely be applied to Madara. Most likely. <laughs> And it'd be interesting to see how they would uh, scale Aizen, really. Especially if they're going to consider scaling him to Ichigo into his uh, final state, because they're still continuing Bleach. There's going to be another part coming, like, this year, I think. For the I mean, manga, like, anyway. I'm probably going oh, okay. yeah. to be rooting for Madara. Not despite you, Sean, but because I like them. Well, my heart wants Aizen, but logically, I have to stick with Madara. I mean, you never know. Even though I really would want Aizen to win. Never know. Madara might lose. Well, who really knows? None of us are researchers, so we really can't say at the end of the day, hey, this character wins, and yeah, here's our proof. The closest I've really I mean, re researched characters I mean, I would, is Mera. I would just base it off of Naruto versus Ichigo, probably. <laughs> probably, but who knows? But besides that, there are characters I do want to see in Death Battle in general, like... Maybe this is the year that Chad gets uh, Kenshin in, finally. Who knows? Maybe. Hmm. I mean, just don't have him fight Zoro. I mean, I have thought of a Kenshin match, and that would be Kenshin versus Takeo from Zombies, because I just w I want to see how they tackle the Call of Duty uh, zombie story, because holy hell, it's a mess. Yeah, like, that would, like, the analysis for that would probably be my favorite part, just Wizard Boomstick trying to make sense of all of it. <laughs> Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. <laughs> no matter how hard you try, it will never make sense. But it would still be cool nonetheless. Mm. I think that's all as far as like matchups I can think of that I really want to see. So, you want to take it away, mate? Besides uh, Mikasa uh, versus Blake. Well, no, I'm not going to talk about that one because, well, I've already talked about it and there's a high chance for it happening, so why bother? Mm -hmm. True. Uh, and I did do like a top 10 on... A bunch of matchups I do want to see, so hey, like check those out. Um, plug, probably plug. just, <laughs> I'm probably just gonna stick with just like, can we have a Persona Four character in Death Battle? Uh, I mean, like, maybe. Like because like, admittedly, the only reason I know any Persona Four cast is because of Max's Let's Plays, and he's recently been doing Persona Three, so it's 
nice to finally get to know those characters. But I like Persona 4 is still my favorite of the lot. And just getting someone from that cast would be amazing. Like there's a whole bunch of matchups for my one, like uh Kanji versus Beowulf, uh Teddy versus Monokuma, which oh my god, the It'd be so weird, but that's what makes it so great. Mm -hmm. uh, I know this is probably never going to happen, but uh, Weiss versus Yukiko would probably be a lot fairer than Mitsuru, just saying. Uh, I thought Weiss versus Soshira was fair. Uh, that's I couldn't give a shit if Weiss was in death. And then I alluded, it to, I alluded to it earlier. Yeah. I alluded to it earlier yeah. of uh, Narukami versus uh, Josuke. Is it? No, it's Josuke. The, the Jojo guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, Josuke. <laughs> You said a JoJo guy. You'll have to be very specific. <laughs> Good point. There's a lot of JoJo's. Uh, true. Jo 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 Jo. jo. Why uh, is there so many JoJo's? I'm gonna throw this out there so. though. I'm gonna throw this out there though with that matchup. If that is the one we get, my money is on Narukami so hard. I mean, it makes sense, especially when you realize what Josuke stand actually does. Oh, I'm just thinking about. Because the thing with Persona characters, like, yeah, you have the side characters like Mitsuru where they have one Persona, that's it. But protagonists like Narukami have the power of the wild card. So they have access to theoretically every Persona. That Okay, yeah, that is a bit overpowered. <laughs> yeah, and like, let's say we just stick to the Personas they get from maxing out the social links of the party members. Uh... Upon completing the social link with Chie, you get a persona that's immune to physical attacks. Hmm. Yeah, and given the fact all of JoJo characters are all about punching the shit out of people. I yeah, mean, so all except for me, stuff, but that's a different story. Yeah, so all Norikami would have to do is just switch to that one and then he's immune. Yeah, uh, that's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Yeah, just anyone from the like the Sona forecast. I have no clue who you would have Naoto up against. By the way, if she ever gets in Death Out, please pronounce her name right. <laughs> Fair. I, I went back to Weiss versus Mitsuru and that really annoyed me. And <laughs> yeah, they couldn't pronounce uh, the names right? Uh, of Naoto and Yukari. Hmm. Like I say, man, Japanese names are hard. Yeah, so, true. So, uh, anything else you want to add? Uh, f I'll just stick with that. Just, can we have a Persona 4 character? Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, uh, and now yours, which is meant to be the big surprise. I can't remember if you told me yours. No, I have not told uh, it. Um, now this one isn't okay. a, this one isn't a highly requested death battle, so... But it's one that I've been really curious about ever since. Okay, I should probably give more content. So if you saw on your early mates channel, one of my most wanted fights was Yang versus the Meta. Now, first of all, the reason I wanted that matchup, one, Yang the Insane actually asked me to help her out with the research for that. But I was so lazy, I mostly just went with the Meta because I, I don't, I'm not, even though I've researched characters, the Meta was easy because he's not had like too many series episodes. So, I was thinking, alright, this would be easy. And over time, I started to like it more because Meta seemed like a character who could actually give a Ruby character a, like, a rough time. So, because I'm one of those people that just thinks the whole popular match of Red vs. Blue and Ruby characters, not that interesting, if I had to be honest. I like, mean, Meta like, vs. Cinder is the most debatable. Is it, though? Like, I mean, just because of all the armor enhancements that Meta has. Right, but here's what I say: so Yang kind of stomps the Meta, so and Cinder's more yeah. powerful than Yang. So, if Yang yeah. stomps, then Cinder would also stomp. <laughs> I mean, both Cinder's popular request, she wins, so I'm good with that. And the other thing, like, and I just feel like you know what, I do, I don't really want these two coming back. So I feel like they've had their matchup. I mean, if Meta, I guess I'll be more okay with Meta because he fought a same series, a same series character. So his popular request is Cinder from Ruby. So pff, goodbye, Meta. <laughs> Your death's probably going to be even more painful this time. I mean, I like Brandon did a commission for the Meta versus the Presser. 
That one could also be kind of good. I mean, although Predators are fought. Although I'm more so. a Predator versus Arbiter fan, so yeah, fair enough. But uh, either way, um, but my new favorite matchup is Cassie Cage versus Sakura from Street Fighter. And Mate's probably not too familiar with these characters. He's not really a fighting no, game enthusiast. I'm, huh. No, I'm familiar. That's... I'm familiar with Sakura mostly because of the Hercule versus Dan death battle. Right. Okay. That's an interesting one. Yeah. So because we've had both of Cassie's parents in already, so why not get the daughter? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And not only that, Cassie Cage is technically more powerful than Johnny. She has the same godlike power mm-hmm. to destroy gods. And also, I need to say this. Their thing that that power only hurts gods is bullshit. Cassie has no idea how the power works. Oh no, that was for like uh, protection, I think. No, even then, that power would also still protect you because that power's been used to block bullets and energy blasts that weren't by God. So I'm thinking maybe one of the people who wrote that joke in into that introduction didn't know the lore about that power. Because when Johnny managed to fully access it in one of the ladder stories, Johnny was pretty much as powerful as Raiden. Like, Elder God Raiden, I should be more precise. And if you know how powerful an Elder God is, they're powerful. Say goodbye to a universe. <laughs> so, and the fact Cassie's more powerful and she's managed to get access to it at a much younger age and nearly perfected using it, she definitely has a better chance than her dad did. <laughs> but... Mm. But now her opponent, Sakura, is Sakura. I'm probably pronouncing the name wrong again. Not good with Japanese names. It is Sakura. All right. She was just an ordinary schoolgirl. And then one day she saw Ryu essentially perform by all sorts of techniques and fight a bunch of thugs. And she wanted to essentially become the next Ryu. And even took Ryu on as like somewhat of a, like a mentor, essentially. And she's also one of the few characters that can also use the Satsui no Hado. She's also like almost on the same level of skill as Ryu. And given the fact she's still pretty young, it took Ryu years to master the Hadouken, the Tatsumuki Senpokai. How's it I can pronounce I can't pronounce Japanese names, yet I can pronounce that so flawlessly. Actually, it's too bad Tatsumaki you always Senpokai. confused it with the sure you I literally just said that, mate. <laughs> oh, I thought you cut it off early. Um, nah, he said it right. Oh, okay. It might just be lag on my end. Probably. Um, but yeah, the fact that she's so young and she's got she she's channeled into the Satsui no Hado, I'm not sure if she's managed to pull off the um, Raging Demon. Uh, I think she probably... I mean, she'd probably have better luck than Dan did. <laughs> yeah, like... To be fair to Dan, he only failed because of a high school backpack. I- ironically, <laughs> that was Sakura's as, as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also, in terms of, like, Sakura being a good fighter, uh, she has trained under Dan as well. Yeah, but she she's but also told Dan she... that his fighting technique's shit. Well, yeah, but she also countered, like, his entire martial art within meeting him. Yes, and let me also point out, that was before she was even trained by Ryu. Mm-hmm. So let me get... So let me also, rephrase so... that. She was a schoolgirl who had no sort of sense of martial art training, saw Ryu fight one day, went to go train with Dan, managed to beat him. Let's be real here. Dan is a terrible fighter compared to the like the cast. But if you if Dan Oh yeah, to... like he he would kick the shit out of us. Yeah, like or any fuck. Like he's managed to take on fifteen guys at once that were armed with guns, knives, pipes, and they got their shit wrecked. <laughs> it's kinda of like with um the whole Yamcha thing, you know, sure, against all the other characters he's kind of pathetic but if you put him up against anyone else that is just a human they're fucked <laughs> i mean logically i'm just still a planet buster so exactly he could blow up a planet <laughs> so that's why i'm uh, saying like this will be amazing like these two characters they're very young in fact cassie cage has managed to rank up to commander <laughs> She's a commander of the special forces that was trained to fight off, like, minions of Shao Kahn and stuff like that. And she's also fast enough to keep up with Cabal, who is probably one of the fastest characters in the entire game. Like, he's even capable of dodging, like, laser beams at point blank. Yet, can- like, legit lasers or... 
Well, given the fact he's fought Car he's fought Kano multiple times, and Kano is known for using his laser beams, but like, are they actual lasers? Yeah, that he shoots lasers out of his eyes. Yeah, but like, do they explode or burn? Burn. Like, do they yeah. follow the rules of lasers? It's literally called a laser, mate. <laughs> Kano's does, from what I recall. Yeah, it burns things. Okay, and stuff like that. Okay, that's that's what I'm asking because I've not seen this, so I don't know. All right, well, yeah, the fact that Cassie was able to fight Cabal and stuff like that, and Sakura, she's managed to fight against. Okay, I should be clear, she's not defeated like the big powerhouses of more of Street Fire, but Cassie has. She actually defeated Shinnok even when he was fully powered. So, I don't even. So you could argue this might be a stomp, but I don't think it is. Because I feel like if Sakura uses her Satsui no Hado, that would make for an interesting fight between these two. So, Mortal Kombat might win against Street Fighter again, which I'll be sad because I love the Street Fighter cast, but this fight just seems too perfect for these two characters. Very young, yet very... I guess you could argue these are the kind of Mary Sues, but they're really likeable Mary Sues, if I could say. <laughs> I mean, the only other matchups I've heard for Sakura are Videl, because, you know, Pokemon okay versus Dan. Oh, that would, and, that would be terrible. <laughs> and the other one being Sakura from Naruto. So, Sakura versus Sakura. My money's on Sakura. Ah. <laughs> Aha, Sakura, Sakura squared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, like I said, this isn't a popular matchup. In fact, I actually good it while we were talking. And there's literally only been one fan art image of this fight. Oof. And most of Cassie's request is Catwoman or the some character from Tekken. Oh, and Jill Valentine for Cassie, which, okay, to be fair, that wouldn't actually be too bad, I guess. But given the fact that Cassie's capable of destroying gods, probably not the best bet for Jill. <laughs> uh, and I don't know what Sakura's most popular matchups are, but... I would love to see her fight Cassie Cage, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and that's my final thoughts on it. We are getting to nearly the two-hour mark. Oof. <laughs> poor, uh, poor Sean. Why are you going oof? You're not the one editing. I well, have to sleep immediately after this is done. <laughs> pretty much. So, I know, I know you guys want to talk about the theme of it, but I think we'll save that for when the first episode drops. Or... The, when the reveal of that episode drops, then we'll talk about the theme of this, what the season's going to be. So I think we'll pretty much Fair wrap enough. So I think we'll pretty much wrap this up here. Um, let's discuss death battles coming back. Very curious what I'm going to name this episode. Uh, usually, mate's the one that just spews out a title of this. So, mate, you decide the title. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm not good with on the spot, okay? <laughs> There's uh, our title. There it is. <laughs> right. Mate on the spot. <laughs> Actually, out of context, that, that kind of sounds like we're saying mate on the spot. And ugh. So anyway, thank you all so much for joining uh, us. I don't know. How about, how about lads are back? Question mark. Because it's different people. <laughs> yeah, why not? One completely new person. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but as always thank you all so much for watching uh, Lads Discuss Death Battle it's good to have this back and like I said it's a shame Richard and Jaro are no longer part of it but if at some point things change in the future a matchup comes up and they want to talk about it then I'm always open so you know they're not they're yeah not... like if Cora gets in Richard's gonna want to talk about that one oh fuck Cora oh shot fired so, um, I mean, from what I've heard of her matchups, uh, she loses all of them. Haha! -ha. So anyway, uh, thanks to your only mate. If you do want to see another video me and your only mate done, we uh, played Resident Evil 5 and we got up some mischief in that one. <laughs> yeah, totally didn't get annoyed because of the uh, button input sometimes. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> totally not. And thanks to Sean. It was bullshit. Thanks to Sean for jumping on. And if you want to see his content and other videos he's edited, links in the description. And he's currently playing uh, Wastelanders 3. Or is it just called Wasteland 3? 
Wasteland 3. Yeah. Uh, I'm still going to wait for Richard uh, before I post the next episode. Yeah, so it's, it's a really fun series. Check it out. And coming up, I will be playing, well, I've already played it. I'm just editing the footage now. Bendy and the Ink Machine. And then after that, Resident Evil 6. My goodness, there's some things I want to say about that game. Because it's made me angry so far. <laughs> so get get ready to see Rage Induced Bill again. <laughs> and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, share the video around and get the channel growing. Sean, what do you do your outro? <laughs> I don't technically have an outro, but thank you folks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stuff is on the outro card and I will see you all later. And mate. I mean, on my channel, I usually just throw out like a fictional character just doing an outro for me. But uh, if I remember my old one, I guess just go with uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy this, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you whenever the next one comes out. Bye. So we can do a good intro, whereas I couldn't do it with Richard and Jari. Yeah, I can do a good intro with you guys, but a bad outro. <laughs> I thought mine was good. Fair enough. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Farewell, everybody. Steve, end this. Okay, Steve, I'm sorry. We can't use that word. That, that That's very insensitive. You're fired. God damn it, Steve. <sighs> I never liked him. Fuck Steve. Steve. <laughs>